Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about something that can completely transform your black and white photos. And that is sharpening them the right way. And trust me everyone, these three methods are absolute game changers. So everyone, if you want your black and white photos to go from mushy and flat to crispy, detailed and eye-grabbing, then stay tuned everyone because we're jumping straight in. So here we are in Photoshop everybody and the first sharpening method we're going to use is the high pass filter. Um, always transform your images from color to black and white before you start sharpening. So the first thing we're going to do we're going to duplicate the background. Just head over here where it says background, drag it down to the plus sign and you get a background copy. We do this just in case you make a mistake and you keep your original image. This image is fully edited. I edited it in Camera Raw. You can use Lightroom or any other editing software. I didn't do any sharpening in Camera Raw, it, it was set to zero. All the sliders were on zero. zero. So from here we're going to head over to Filter, go down to Other, and here you have the High Pass Filter. And you get this little pop-up window. And here we're going to start off by setting the radius. You can hardly see the image, but once you increase the radius, you can see the outline of the images here. As you can see around the edges, we have this halo look, and that is what we don't want. So using the high pass filter, I think the best way is to leave it under radius 3. Do not go more than 3. And I think going around 2.5, I think that's a safe spot here. And here, from here, we're just going to click OK. And the next step we're going to do is head over to here, this little drop down window where it says normal and click the arrow here and a small window pops up again and just head over to overlay you can choose soft light or hard light but I prefer overlay click on overlay and here we're going to zoom in to 100% and I'm going to show you the difference with this sharpening method. So here we're on the grasses here and this is with the 2.5 radius on the high pass filter. I'm gonna click on this eyeball here and it's gonna disable the sharpening we just done. So that is without the sharpening everyone and this is with the sharpening. Again, if you think it's too much, all you need to do is head over where it says opacity. I always go down to zero. It's just like you switched off the eyeball here. You switched off the mask and this increase slowly, slowly to where you think you have enough sharpening. And I think around 80-ish is okay. Again, click on before and after. Before and after. And there you have it. Instant clarity and zero fuss. One of the best sharpening methods you can use, guys. I'm going to fit screen. And there we have a really sharp image. And we don't have any halos around the edges. 
again I'm gonna switch off the eyeball here without sharpening and with sharpening it's a subtle effect but very very effective and it's one of my favorite sharpening methods well that's it for the high pass filter so now we're gonna use method two and that is the unsharp mask this is the image we'll be sharpening the sharpening tool everyone loves to misuse use wrong it's awful use right it's insane and now guys i'm going to show you the magic formula formula for using the unsharp mask but first like before uh, always convert your images to black and white finish all your editing and leave the sharpening for last and again we're going to duplicate the background drag it down to the plus sign head over to filter go on sharpen and unsharp mask and the little window pops up I'm gonna set these to the lowest they are they have and I'm gonna increase to 100% the image and I'm gonna target this area here something like that here and now the magic formula is the amount raise it between 120 and 200 and we're going to raise it all the way up to 500 and like that you get a really gritty image if we increase this all the way up as well you can see how awful the image gets so we're going to use my magic formula and that's between 120 and 200 and i'm going to set it on 150 ish something like that the next we have the radius and this i'm going to set it between 0 0.5 0 0.5 to 1.2 and i'm going to set it to around 0 0.9 as you can see the image changed quite suddenly you can see here watch this lantern as I go up to 0.9 and you can see the lantern has gotten quite sharp next we're going to target the threshold and this is going to be set between 2 and 4 and that makes it on 3 And there we have our unsharp mask sharpening. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to show you the before and after. Click on the eyeball. Before and after. Before and after. If you think it's too much, like I said before, reduce the opacity to zero and increase where you see fit but for me 100 suits me fine I'm gonna reduce the image size and there we have our unsharp mask sharpening before and after I'm gonna zoom in once more to this guy here we're at nearly 150 percent before and after a 
50% before and after. Next is the method three, clarity and texture. But for this, we won't be using Photoshop. We'll just be using Camera Raw or if you're using Lightroom, it's just the same or any other editing software. And now for method number three. And this one's for my Lightroom and Camera Raw fans. The clarity plus texture combo. And this method doesn't just sharpen, it gives your image attitude. So first we're going to head over to the detail panel and we're going to increase the sharpening between 30 and 60. And I'm going to go all the way up to around 50-ish. The radius, I usually turn it all the way down, dial it all the way down. And the detail, I usually push it all the way up. Next, hold down your masking slider and the Alt key on your keyboard and slide between 50 and 80 and the white parts will be where the image is going to be sharpened. And this again is a magic formula. If you have people in the subject, don't go over 80 so you can protect the skin. And I'm gonna leave it around 64. I'm gonna zoom in to this branch here. And next, we're gonna head over to the effects panel here. And I'm going to increase the texture to around plus 10, between plus 10 and plus 30. And I'm going to go to around nearly 20. Next, I'm going to head down to the clarity. And the magic formula for this is plus 5 to plus 20. And I think I'm going to go around 13. And this gives you a punchy, gritty, cinematic look without going overboard. Perfect for street photography and documentary style black and white. I'm going to give you a bonus power tips now. Always sharpen at 100% zoom. Never trust the tiny preview. Always convert to black and white first and sharpen after. For prints, if you're gonna print your image, add 10 to 15% more sharpening. And there we have it guys. The three best ways to sharpen your black and white photos without destroying them. I'm gonna take this image over to Photoshop and I'm gonna show you all the images once again. Here we have the first image, this is the second image and the third image and we have perfect sharpening using three different methods. If this helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe and tell me in the comments which method you're trying first. I've got tons more editing breakdowns coming your way, so stick around. And I'll see you in the next video.